Hi everyone, welcome back to another card making tutorial. This is Jessica and I'd like to share a fireworks card today to celebrate 4th of July. I'll be using the stamp set called Festive Fireworks from My Favorite Things and it includes several large fireworks images. I thought it would be so fun to heat emboss with different colorful embossing powders, so let's get started. Before I start with heat embossing, I always like to apply some anti-static powder tool to my cardstock. It really helps prevent excess powder from sticking to your cardstock. Then you can stamp the images with Versamark ink pad and pour on the embossing powder. I chose some really vibrant colors today. There's going to be red um, and green as well as purple. These are colors that I don't find myself using a lot. I tend to grab colors such as gold or white um, in terms of heat embossing, but I think it's really fun to use the colorful embossing powders as well. All of the powders that I'm using today are from Imagine. This is from their Emboss line. It's literally called Emboss and spelled with an M. So just M-B-O-S-S, -S, Emboss line. I picked those powders because they are colorful and they're also mixed with some metallic shine. For example, the green and red powders have gold mix in them and then the purple and the dark blue have silver mix in them. Since we're stamping on black cardstock today, I kind of just want to add some more um, elements that will contrast the dark background and I thought having those metallic finishes will be really interesting. After I'm done heat embossing the different colors of fireworks, I'm stamping the layering images with the Galaxy Gold ink pad. This is one of my favorite gold inks because it's very very rich and saturated and it's got a very warm tone to it too. I do recommend stamping a couple times using a stamp positioning tool if you have one. This just gives better coverage of the image since we are stamping on black paper today. So this is what the card panel looks like after the stamping and heat embossing. You do see traces of the anti-static powder that I used in the beginning of the video. It just looks like a white dusty area, but it's actually really simple to rub it off just with a piece of tissue. For today's project, I also like to try out some of the new LED stickers that I got from Chimitronics. So the next steps would be to create the circuit for this light up card. The first trick would be to die cut small circles at the center of each firework. I'm using the infinity dies from Hero Arts. They just have this tiny tiny circle die that is the perfect size for today's card. I did try before starting this project to see how I would incorporate LED lights on a black card panel and the answer is it kind of just doesn't work. The light just doesn't shine through the black paper. So we are doing a workaround today by die cutting the cardstock and at the very end we will adhere some vellum paper to the center so it will cover up the holes. I then mark the centers of the firework images and those will be the positions of where we stick on the LED stickers. Next we can move on to circuit making but before we do that make sure you also stick down the battery holder. For this card specifically, my front panel is slightly smaller than the card base, so I make sure my battery holder is in right up the edge of the cardstock. I left some space around the border so that this battery holder won't show through the card panel when we stick it down. And now we're ready to lay down the circuit with conductive tape. I did realize that I didn't draw the circuit stickers in the best possible positions. However, I think it's still very helpful to kind of guide where I want to lay down my circuit. I decided to connect the three inner points on one circuit and then lay another path that surrounds it. For the final step, I stuck down the LED stickers based on the positions that we marked out earlier. These rainbow face stickers are new to me and I thought the effects looked so cool. I was totally mesmerized by the animating rainbow lights. But here we can see that the light on the left is also not working. After some troubleshooting, I realized that for the inner circuit, my tape was too short and I ended up needing to tape on an additional piece. The connection between those two pieces of tape seems to be kind of weak, so that's why the light wasn't lighting up. 
To fix this, I added small pieces of conductive tape to the joint corner, and now all three lights work. For some finishing touches, I also spritz on some craft spray. This one is actually shimmery and it has a white pearl shine. Then I stamped the sentiment and added some sequins, and that finishes the card. I'm so happy with how this fireworks card turned out, and I hope you enjoy this really vibrant and colorful project. If you haven't tried out the Rainbow Fade LED stickers before, I also highly, highly recommend them. They are so fun and the effects look so good. Thank you so much for watching this light up card tutorial, and I hope to share more projects with you soon. See you in the next video. Bye!